In this video, we will learn how we can query a database with SQL, which is used to access relational databases. The table we show, which contains movie information, will be used as an example throughout this video. For each movie, we store the title, director, and release year. Let's start by querying the movies table. The first thing we might want to do is to see the contents of the table. For that we select all fields, indicated by the asterisk symbol, from the movies table. Executing this command will return the entire movies table. Our table is quite small. In reality, however, tables might be much larger. So we might specify in our statement that we only want to see the first two lines of the result with the limit keyword. When executing the command we will now only receive the first two rows. What are some other things that we might be interested in? We might only be interested in Steven Spielberg. Let's write a statement that only returns movies, in which Steven Spielberg is the director. For that, we use the where keyword. Executing this command will return only movies that were directed by Steven Spielberg. Can we also look for patterns in the title of the movie instead of looking for movies with a specific title? Yes, we can. The like keyword allows us to match fields with patterns. We can use an underscore to match a single character, or a percent sign to match arbitrarily many. So let's try using the like keyword in a SQL statement. Now would be a good time for you to pause the video and think about what this statement will return. Did you figure it out? The statement returns all rows, where the title contains the word, the. Until now we always selected all columns. But what if we are only interested in the title of the movies? In that case, we only select the title field. And let's say we want the title of movies that were released between the years 1980 and 1989. Executing this statement would give us exactly that. The between keyword used in the statement is special, so let's try it another way. There is a more natural way, how we could specify that we want the titles of movies between 1980 and 1989. Can you think of it? This would be a good time to pause the video and think about it. Instead of using the between keyword, we could also specify that the year should be at least 1980 and no larger than 1989. Executing this statement would give us the same result. Now, what if we don't want to see specific data records, but instead learn information about the whole database, such as when the first movie in our database was released? For that we use aggregation. So let's determine the minimum release year in our database. For that, we can simply utilize the min operator on the year field. Executing this statement will return the earliest movie release year in our database. There are other operators available to aggregate data. For instance, we might want to know the average release year of movies directed by Steven Spielberg. This will be returned by running the shown SQL statement. With the tools we have seen so far we can already ask complicated questions, but there is much more that we can do. For instance, we can group rows that have the same value in a given field and sort our results. Let's look at an example. Imagine we would want to know the number of movies directed by each director in our database. For that, we would select the director name and the count of the number of movies by each director. We do this by grouping the data by the director's name. Running this command returns the information we were looking for. In our small database, only Steven Spielberg directed more than one movie. We might also want to know how many movies were released each year. How would we do this? Please pause the video. To find out how many movies were released each year, we would select the year field and count the rows in our movies tables grouped by the year. Our database is quite small, so when we execute this statement, it is already easy for us to see in which year the most movies were released. However, in reality, we might want to sort the result in order to get a better overview of the data. To do that, we use the order by keyword and specify that we want the result set to be ordered by the movie count in descending order. If we now execute this statement, the results are ordered. When querying our database, we might notice that some information in our database is incorrect. To fix that, we can delete and update data records. For instance, we can delete all data records where the movie title is JAWS by using the delete keyword. 
If we execute this statement, the movie JAWS will no longer be in our database. Similarly, the update keyword could be used to set the year of all movies with title Trouble the Water to 2009. Running this command performs the update. Let us summarize the main insights of this video. We saw how we can query, aggregate, group and sort, as well as delete and update our data. Thanks for watching this video.